Morning everybody, Scott with All Out Outdoors. We are out on Lake Tawakini and we are doing the splat cat, splat fishing. Got my army brother here, Chris, and his son. So we're doing a father-son trip today. And that's what we're looking for. All out here, you got the tall trees with the comorant sitting in it. We're using bacon for bait on a slip cork rig and spinning gear. Should be pretty exciting. So make sure you smash the like and subscribe button. I'm getting dangerously close to my thousand. And uh, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. So watch. I'm going to pitch right up here against the tree underhand. Because I've been doing this a long time. One, two, three, four. Oh, you got him. Nope, I don't have him. He's He tried to hit the cork. Uh, All right, now, here, take it. Reel. One. Put your hand in front of the reel. Oh, in front of the reel. Wait. All right. Bring it up. Pitch it again. One, two, three. There you go, Casey. Grab it. Grab it quick. Hold it over here. Hold. Oh. Did I? Yeah. You oh, broke sorry. it. Sorry. It's a massage. Yep. <laughs> stole, stole everything. <laughs> Kaysen was trying to reel when he pulled down, he broke it all. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> and on a spot like that, it's better to try to get it in between the trees. One, two, three. Oh, got one. Nope, he got off. <laughs> Pitch it in there, Chris. He'll hit it again. <laughs> he's moved his whole body like he's playing a video game. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Because they don't know what's above the water. Pitch it out again, Chris. <laughs> now, what happened on that last one, Casey, is our hook's not, our tip's not sticking out enough. You want your hook exposed. You're not hiding a hook. Catfish aren't hook sensitive. Two. Three. Oh, you got him good. Here, here, Jason. Hand in front of the reel, really, man. That's a channel cat. And something else hit at the channel cat. Real Casey, don't walk oh. backwards. <laughs> it's not a it's not a drag line, it's a reel. Come on. Real bud. Real You're not gonna fall in the water. Get up here by the front. <laughs> now lift him up. Just lift. Stop reeling. Stop reeling. Lift. Now you back up. <laughs> That's a nice channel cat. Didn't even get our bacon. <laughs> no, he ain't going to get the bacon. We'll lose bacon because we get our, our lines broke. We're not going to lose it because they take the bait. Rot it down a little more. He don't want him to feel any pressure. And that's a good eater cat. And I'll put the basket out now. He took off running. I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> Casey, don't worry. I've seen grown men do the same thing fishing. Who've never, they've never fished much, so don't worry about it. All right. I got. It. We're gonna make fun of everybody today, especially your dad. Yeah. <laughs> especially. Now we're gonna go to the left side, and I'm handing you this rod. All right, Casey. Yes, sir. Rod tip down. You can't set the hook. If the rod's up. Real, real. He swirled at it. No, no, don't. I said real. Not like reel to the line. We see the big swirl. He missed the bait. All right, now let's reel it in. Chris, put it in there. There we go. That's close enough to tree. Casey, come on. That's a that's a bigger fish. Come up here. Come up. You gotta watch the trolling motor. Lift, reel. Watch the trolling motor. You can't make those fish go anywhere. You gotta go with the fish, Casey. Stop it. Stop. Lift with the rod. And now reel down. Hands not in front of the reel. While you're having to... He's on the bottom of the boat. Reel. Now stop. Lift. Reel down. Now wait. Now reel down. How do I reel? Like, Lower the rod reel, a little bit and reel. Like reel. Reel down. Reel down. Now lift. And then reel coming down. Reel. Keep reeling. Reel. If it's now going reel. in and in, you can't reel. That's a big cat. So you're on your own now. Reel down. 
And see how your hand's not in front of the reel? That's why you're having such a hard time. Okay. Get him away from the tree. Okay. If he goes around the boat, follow okay. him. Right, you can't. Down. There you go, reel. Reel down, reel. Reel down, reel, 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 reel. Keep the rod bent as you reel down. Go. I'm gonna move this away from the tree before he gets us in the tree. Watch the trolling motor. Reel down. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> that was a big cat. Yeah. On there up until the last bag. It happens. Yeah. So now I'm going to go overhand on it. Come here, Case. Grab it. Keep it away from your dad's rod. Grab it. Real. 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 <laughs> Can't let the rod go slack. Uh. Oh, immediately you got that one. Uh oh. Okay, you take it. That's a good one. Keep the rod up. Don't let the line go slack. Lift, just lift slow. Reel down, keep reeling. Let him fight you, follow him around as he goes. There you go, keep reeling. Keep the rod bent, there you go, good one. He's oh. hooked in the tail, no wonder. <laughs> Lift him up in the boat. End. He flashed at it and got him. Watch the sword fighting, there you go. Let the rod down, Case. All right. I got it. Go, go fish. Does that happen to you very often? I've never it happens that. pretty often on cats. Where they just they, they do that on purpose? They hit the bait with their tail? Yeah, a lot of times they'll swat at it to stun it or something, or they just missed it. Technically, we can't keep him because we foul hooked him. Oh, really? Yeah, foul that's another him? rule? Foul hooked, yep. Yeah. It's like snagging one. We can't You can't intentionally snag a fish. And whereas we didn't intend... Don't know. One of the stupid rules in Texas. You should be able to snag for non-game fish. You know, if I want to go out and snag buffalo or carp or something, why can't I do that? Oh. I had too much slack in the line. Didn't even realize it. They're on the street right now. Coming right at me. Him. He's all right. He's all right. Let me see if I can. Oh. Oh. Broke it all. That's what Snake. I get for trying to do it. It ain't your fault. I was the one did dumb. Did the dumbness. Like, oh, let me see if I can lift him. I know. I have a really nice sized catfish on here. Let's pick him up like a dummy. Get him, Chris. I got a good bird's eye. Big channel cat. Nice channel cat, Huddleston. Nice channel cat. Oh, that's a big cat. Don't quit reeling, quit reeling. You're not going to just flick him in the boat. Here, hold that, Casey. Yes, sir. Just take your time. We're not in any hurry to get him in the boat. Just let him wear out. That's way too... Don't quit lifting. Oh, quit you lifting. can't lift him in the boat. He is way too big. No, quit reeling, quit everything. Just hang loose, let him wear himself out, and I'll grab his dorsals and pick him up. So back up just a little bit. Stop, right there. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want him breaking the line on the side of the boat. And I don't want him to, I don't want you to hook me if the hook pops out either. Okay. I'll be careful. Come here, dude. I need this dorsal fin and the other. Come on, dude. Be good. Be good, kitty. Come on. Trying to get me. Just let him wear out a little bit. Dang it to heck. Glad you got some good line, because 
We should have lost him five times already. Oh, there you go. There's your good 10, 12 pound blue kitty. <laughs> so when the way I, I, I could have pulled him into the boat. I know you couldn't have lifted him in the boat. Okay. He'd have flopped his head and he'd have broke everything. So that's a good, really nice blue cat. Good enough to eat. Uh, like not too big to eat. Uh, I wouldn't eat one. I wouldn't keep one that big because we got so many little ones out here. But hold him up and let's get him on camera. Don't put your fingers in his mouth. He will bite the Fukushima out of you. What are you holding? So put your hand under his chin like this and then under his tail. Pick him up. Just like that. There you go. And now on the other side of his tail. Yep. Just pick him up. My cradle. Turn him that way a little bit. There you go. Good. That's a nice blue. <laughs> nice. Then come up here. Yeah, that's, that's about a nine, nine pound something blue. So it's a real good that one. It was a fun fight too. It was. That's why I was, when I saw you hook and I'm like, hey, don't try horsing that one. Do you want to kiss him? <laughs> Put him out. Good job. Why are you tangling up my oh. stuff, Casey? Nice. Nice, Huddleston. Nice. I'm going to huddle size you. Oh, got a double. Double. Double cast. Finally, <laughs> it's happened to me. You got to get it in first. Two channels. <laughs> there you go, Huddleston. We got a double. He's like, it's finally occurred. Sorry, Casey. I should have handed it to you, but uh, I was so excited for your dad. Son double, even though neither one of us uh, we had that much to do with it. <laughs> that was funny because they were both going after your bait. To use for bait, just for bait. But then you got something like a, a yellow bass, which is now they consider him a game fish. Case I'm trying to get him past the trolling motor for you. Grab it. Reel. Don't let any slack in the line. Pull up and reel down. You don't let the line go slack when you reel down. All right, stop. Just lift him in the boat. Got a fish. Back up. Taking the boat. Whoa. I got him. You don't have to take him off. Maybe hey. Quit setting the hook on the guide. Out of the boat. All right, people, we're changing tactics. We're going to go try to live scope a couple of crappie here since they've never done it. Well, everybody on the YouTube world, if you're on Tawakini and you find a giant basket full of catfish and crappie, uh, it was mine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you around the other side of the pole here. <laughs> 